Base pair mutations are the kinds of mutations that occur on a very small scale but can have very detrimental effects. For example, it leads to diseases like cystic fibrosis. And today I'm going to cover base pair substitutions, deletions, and insertions. So base pair substitutions can lead to two things, a missense mutation and a nonsense mutation. And we will be first looking at the missense mutation. To explain this, I'm going to look at an example. This is the sense strand, which resembles the mRNA strand. And so in the normal DNA molecule for this specific gene, there is the base G on the sense strand, and therefore there will be the base G on the mRNA molecule. This codon will be coding for the amino acid serine. However, when a missense mutation occurs, there is the base A that replaces the base G. So of course in the anti-sense strand, it is mutated too. However, we're more interested in the sense strand. The base A is taking the place of the base G. So then in the mRNA molecule that is mutated, there will be the base A instead of a base G. We get this codon instead of this codon, and then this codon codes for the amino acid asparagine. As you can see, the amino acid has been changed, and then this can have detrimental effects on the person. Next type is a nonsense mutation. So in the normal DNA molecule, in the sense strand, we have a base C. However, in the mutated DNA molecule in the sense strand, we have the base A instead of the base C. So in the mRNA molecule that has been transcribed from the mutated DNA, we get this codon instead of this codon, and then this codon is a stop codon instead of the amino acid tyrosine. And then in this specific example, it will cause the translation process of the polypeptide to be ended prematurely because as you can see it's supposed to continue however it just stopped here however in reality something else that can happen is that an amino acid that codes for a stop codon is altered so that it codes for another amino acid so instead of stopping the translation process the translation process is continued so then you have an extra long protein in short a nonsense mutation can lead to a protein that is too short or too long insertions and deletions in this example, I am using an insertion. So in the normal DNA molecule, it looks like this. So the mRNA molecule looks like this. However, in the mutated DNA molecule, these two base pairs are inserted. And so in the sense strand, we have two extra bases, which then when transcribed into a, an mRNA molecule, it ends up like this. And as you can see here, there is a change. And this change only affects the codons downstream, as you can see. So then, as a result of this change, the downstream amino acids will be changed compared to the normal polypeptide. Now, this is called a frame shift mutation. However, the frame shift mutation only occurs when the number of bases that are missing or that are in excess are not in multiples of three. Because codons occur in groups of three, so if you have like three of them missing or three of them added, then you just have an extra amino acid or a missing amino acid as opposed to having every single amino acid downstream being changed. And in both cases, we would be getting very detrimental effects on the person. The implications of these mutations, first of all, there is the gain of function, which is overexpression of a gene pretty straightforward, or inappropriate expression, which is when the gene is expressed in the wrong cells, or the gene is expressed in the wrong stages of development, and this is typically seen in dominant traits. The next one is the loss of function, again, pretty straightforward. This is often seen in recessive traits. For example, the allele that you receive from your dad that codes for a specific enzyme is mutated so that you have less of that enzyme, the allele from your mother is normal, then the allele from your mother will be expressed normally. So then the amount of enzymes that is being made from the mother's allele will compensate for the missing enzymes from the father's allele, if that makes any sense at all. Basically, the normal allele will compensate for the underexpression of the mutated allele. In some cases, something called haploid insufficiency occurs, and this is when the normal allele cannot compensate for the amount of missing protein that the mutated allele caused. So, even in a heterozygote, they would be suffering a lot. The next type is a dominant negative mutation, and this is when a protein product that is not only just not functional, but it inhibits the function of the normal protein product, and of course this is harmful for the person. Thanks so much for watching, I hope this video has made sense, and like if you've enjoyed and subscribe for more.